Good morning, guys. Early in the morning, we're gonna get started. Uh, yeah, we're checking it out. We got guide trips all week, and today we're out there gonna be exploring new piles, piles that we know there's fish on, and uh, just getting set up for the week uh, because you gotta be, gotta be prepped, right? So bright and early, beautiful morning, still water. That's what we're doing, guys. Come on now. Guys, if you ever think about why you get up early in the morning, sometimes it's because of that right there. I hope you can appreciate that, but it's absolutely stunning out here right now. Beautiful. Now, my absolute goal this morning is to find out if the bite is early in the morning. Um, that way I time these guide trips perfectly. So, you know, what I've found is that a lot of times that bite really starts to occur around 9, 10 o'clock. So I just really want to know when it seems to be the most active. Obviously, we want to find out where the fish are at. That's key number one. But number two is, is it an early morning bite? Because they won't, I won't hesitate to start a little later if I feel like the bite's occurring an hour or two after the sunrise. But we got a beautiful sunrise today. So we're out here to have fun. We got the hammer, we got it all. We're ready to rock and roll, guys. Oh yeah, here we come. Here we go. First cast of the day, guys. Woo, baby. Nice little eater. We're gonna keep some today. Very aggressive fish there. A salad eater. All right, we're gonna try out a plastic. About four casts in right now. We're just trying different baits out to see if the reaction's different. That's all we're doing. Ooh, he freaking did hit it. Oh, baby. All right. All right. Solid fish right there, guys. We gonna let that one go back. Small guy. Yeah, baby. All right, guys, we're moving along here. I got the, this is, you don't typically catch a white on my lake right there. So great fish right there, guys. That's awesome. I'm gonna keep that one there. So really have been moving through the baits quite a bit. Several different hair jigs, the zombie, the yellow bird. We're doing a paddle tail right now. Always on that 132nd ounce jig head right there. We're using pink. Okay, I did switch to the Comet. Now what I'm doing is I've got an 18 inch gap between my number seven split shot and my jig head right there using the hammer. Uh, such a light bite right now, having the hammer has certainly helps out big time. Um, it is my go-to every day on the uh, guide trips and everywhere else. So we're gonna still try out different hair jigs. Um, seeing if there's a big difference or gap between the different colors and stuff like that. As of right now, I don't see that. So, uh, and I'm actually seeing a little bit more when I get action on the bait. So plastics seem to be working just a little bit better, but I, you know, right now we're splitting hairs there. It's just a tough bite when you get into the summertime, right guys? Oh, 
baby. Another solid eater. Is this another white? Another white. We got a school of whites here, guys. That is totally cool. You just don't see that. You just don't see that very often on my lake right there. Another white. Awesome. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Shoot. Oh my gosh. Boy, you have to be quick. And he got off. Well, you have to be so quick on setting that hook right now. Good night. Ooh, that's not an easy bite right there, guys. I'll tell you what. Still a tough bite. But we got about six in the boat. And we're going to go clean those right now. So I don't know if I'll show you that or not. Regardless, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, yeah, we just got to get through these summer months, right? We got this warm water temperature and all, get all that good stuff. Conclusion, though, in terms of hair jigs versus plastics, gosh dang, I just don't know if it matters really right now. I just think it's a finicky bite all in general. Definitely more action's better. So if you can just jump those uh, hair jigs around quite a bit, I think you're going to have uh, a little bit more luck. But either way, no matter how you shake it, it's tough. It's always going to be a tough bite. I recommend bait pop. I recommend, you know, just creating action to wake them up. I don't know. That's what I'm going to say. So skin protection, wind rider, don't forget it. Take it easy, guys.